All right, folks, we're back. My next guest is, a, uh, of course, a very funny guy who is one of the bright stars of Saturday Night Live. Let's take a look at the man in action. Have you seen these drawstring pants? Where, where, where am I going in these things? A clam bake? A slumber party? Should I volunteer at a hospital? Jerry, what are you talking about? I love the gap. It's like going into your closet, except there's a guy in there. Hey, buddy, pocket tea? Really? Thanks, Gap. What? You refold it? This place is great. <laughs> Please welcome Jimmy Fallon. Hilarious, by the way. I love your Seinfeld impression. That was crazy, man. That was like his idea too. That was his idea. That's that's cool that he let you mock him to his face. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, great. Pay homage. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you just had. You guys have a nice schedule because you do a couple of shows and then you get like a week off. Yeah. Right. Which is sweet. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, you get to do things. Yeah. Like what? What have you? What have you been doing with yourself during the time off? What's Jimmy Fallon do to to cool out? Uh, I, I went. To, I go to the movies. I went. I go to the movies. Have you been? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, Rain Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get nervous, you know. Don't be I, nervous. I, I, went to, I went to the movies. I don't know if you know how they're really expensive now. Have you been to the movies? Yeah, I go, yeah. And then I bought one ticket. I thought like, it was like $15. I thought I was getting like a videotape copy to go home with. You know, like, <laughs> I just want to see it in the theater once with the people. Can I do that? <laughs> then like the snacks. Yeah. I had to like use a credit card for the snacks. <laughs> It's so expensive. Like, you know, I just wanted a little, like, decent-sized Coke for, like, $3. Sure. Guy behind the counter wants to sell me this big, huge, giganto-sized one. You know, he's like, okay, it's a good choice, but, you know, for a dollar extra, you can get this big, huge one back here, this one that we're all standing in. We'll get out. <laughs> we'll get out of it, fill it up. <laughs> yeah, you really think I'm that thirsty? Because you know? then he goes, he goes, yeah, in fact, if you get this huge one here, uh, you get a free refill. <laughs> I'm not that thirsty. That's crazy, you know. <laughs> but it's only a dollar extra, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you you're able to kick back though in the theater though and see the movie though. That's yeah, it was cool. It's like, but I I went to, so I, I go to the movies this weekend. This guy sits in front of me. Out of all the seats, the guy sits in front of me has the biggest ears I've ever seen on like a human head. <laughs> like you see like cartoon ears. Like right. gigantic, this guy's ears are so big. People behind me tell me to put my feet down. <laughs> I'm like, I can't see either. So these ears. <laughs> can't see the movie either. Yeah. Now. uh... Do you like being back in New York City? Because I know you were in L.A. for a, for a long time. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, because I don't. I'm a horrible driver. You You're know, bad, you know, really. You know, my parents are from Brooklyn, and they and they they taught me how to drive, and they're mm -hmm. horrible. They never drove in Brooklyn, so, they, <laughs> so I'm really bad. You know, I'm right. a second generation bad. Right. And uh, <laughs> so uh, yes, yeah, so I just like uh, L.A. was rough. And I read in the paper that uh, an airbag can kill a fetus. Mm -hmm. I was thinking like, what what kind of parents are letting their fetuses drive? You know, this is like crazy. <laughs> You and your jokes. I'm not going to sit here and listen to that. Wait, wait, there's more. Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking, I, I, I didn't drive when I was a fetus, you know? Yeah? I was too busy developing eyeballs, I think. <laughs> we worried about going to the mall. <laughs> yeah. I like how you rewarded yourself with a little drink. That's nice. Because that went so well. <laughs> I think I've earned it. Yeah. Uh, now, are you, uh, are you still doing a lot of stand-up comedy? Because obviously that's how you got your start. You yeah, I still do, I do colleges and stuff. It's fun to go to different colleges and check it out and see what you liked, you know, when you were there and stuff like that. It's, and see the things you didn't like. Also, like the, the communal showers. You, know, like you I, didn't like that? No, I mean, well, everyone's got their little basket. <laughs> you know, you got your little basket full of things, like your shampoo and your soap. And yeah. You have the loofah. You have your loofah. <laughs> and girls have that nice loofah. It's like pink and mesh, and it takes off your dead skin, and it's nice. And for guys, you have like this French bread looking loofah that like rips out your ass hair. You know, it's like. <laughs> you know, like, oh. yeah. you know, I walk out in the hallway, like, hey, nice town. I'm like, this is my third layer of skin. <laughs> Call the doctor. The wind hurts me, you know? <laughs> Well, did you have, I mean, that, okay, you didn't like that, but did you have a good time in college? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, college is great, man. You, you know, you get to try out different things in college, you know, I, you know whatever you want. Like, I, I had like eight jobs in college. I was, a, I was a DJ once. You were a DJ? Yeah, I had, to, my friend wanted me to DJ his party. He was having like an 80s party. Mm -hmm. And so I, I was going to DJ his party, but that day, my, uh, someone stole all the records out of my car. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, well, actually, that's it. They left one record, uh, Can't Touch This by MC Hammer. <laughs> they stole... Everything but the MC Hammer can't touch this. I think yeah, they had a sense of humor, you know. I think it, <laughs> so, 
sounds like it, yeah. So I just played that for like an hour. <laughs> and then people started requesting other things, like, hey, what's going on? And, like, <laughs> and what I figured out is you can sing any 80s song over Can't Touch This. Uh -huh. Do you have Can't Touch This? Do you have it here? Right here? Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I, I brought it this morning. Oh, so you, you brought it? it? Yeah. Check okay. Channel 6. Does, does they have it in the booth? Oh, yeah, they should. Okay. I'll just give you a taste of what I did. Okay. And, okay. You can't touch this. Don't turn around, oh, uh oh. <laughs> the come is us in town, oh, uh oh. I heard you on the wall, it's back in 52. Oh, wow. What did you tell them? Video killed the radio star. <laughs> I want to rock right now. I'm not basing a king to get down. I'm not into that king. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, very nice. That was nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. What? Oh, oh, wait, wait. There's the party. The party kept going. The party kept going. Oh, I, I'm just in your arms tonight. Must have been something you said. I wear my sunglasses at night. So so Funny. Juliana Margulies hosting <laughs> Saturday Night Live this weekend with musical guest DMX. You got a book out, yeah. I Hate This Place, which is in stores right now. And uh, I love this guy, Jimmy Fallon. Thank you so much for coming. Always funny. We'll be right back. Perfect guy, Greg Giraldo coming up. <laughs> 